In the world of fashion, where secrets are hidden behind every seam and button, one name stands out for its enigmatic allure. Prada. Imagine Milan, the early 20th century, a city pulsating with energy where tradition meets innovation. It was here in 1913 that Mario Prada and his brother Martino opened a modest leather goods shop. They had no idea that this small venture would one day become a global powerhouse in luxury fashion. Each item, from the sleek handbags to the sturdy trunks, showcased unparalleled craftsmanship. The leather, supple yet durable, was selected with the utmost care. Intricate stitching, polished brass fittings, and elegant designs made these goods highly sought after by the elite of Milan. These creations were not merely accessories. They were symbols of luxury and status, each piece telling a story of dedication and artistry. But Mario held a firm belief that women had no place in business, a conviction that would eventually be challenged by his own blood. Despite his success, Mario Prada held a rigid belief women had no place in business. This conviction, rooted in the patriarchal norms of the era, dictated that business was a male domain, relegating women to domestic roles. Enter Miuccia Prada, Mario's granddaughter, whose vision and determination would soon challenge the very foundations of her grandfather's beliefs. Educated and fiercely independent, she was determined to leave her mark on the family business. Despite Mario's archaic beliefs, Miuccia, with a background as a mime artist, artist and a PhD in political science, took over the family business in 1978. Miuccia's innovative spirit and unwavering resolve won him over. Her avant-garde approach and daring designs defied conventional norms, blending classic elegance with modern edginess. But Miucha's rise to power was not without conflict. Within the Prada family, tensions simmered. Her bold decisions clashed with traditional values, creating a rift that threatened to tear the family apart. Miucha's relationship with Mario was complex, marked by respect and a shared passion for perfection. She brought a fresh perspective, blending tradition with innovation, which resonated with the changing times. Her introduction of nylon handbags in the 1980s was a bold move that revolutionized the industry and cemented Prada's status as a fashion powerhouse. Enter Patrizio Bertelli, the husband of Miuccia Prada. He was a dynamic and influential figure with an unyielding drive for excellence. Bertelli's vision and business acumen were pivotal in transforming Prada into a global luxury brand. Known for his assertive leadership and perfectionist tendencies, he ensured that every aspect of Prada's operations met the highest standards. However, the relentless pursuit of excellence came at a cost. The demanding nature of their work strained Miuccia and Bertelli's marriage, creating a complex dynamic of love, ambition, and occasional conflict. Their shared dedication to Prada often overshadowed their personal lives. But their mutual respect and commitment to the brand kept them united. Today, Prada stands as a testament to risk, innovation, and resilience. From its humble beginnings in Milan to becoming a global symbol of luxury, the brand's journey is a saga of bold decisions and visionary leadership. For those fascinated by this legendary brand, read this book, The House Little Book of Prada, The Story of the Iconic Fashion House. Drop us a comment below, give this video a like if you found it intriguing, and don't forget to subscribe for more luxury fashion stories like this one. Until next time, stay inspired and dream big. Discover more in the description about the secrets of Prada.